Hi, David Lewis Maroney here, Senior Coach at Bishopsgate Golf Academy. I just want to take you through one of the drills that we use on a regular basis to help the students hold those 8 to 20 footers. So what I've got set up here is the first putt's at 8 foot and then you're going to put a ball at 3 foot further each time, so 8, 11, 14, 17 and 20. And then I've got a 3 foot semicircle behind the hole. Now if a student rolls the ball into the hole they get 2 points. If the ball finishes inside that semicircle behind the hole, they get one point. And then if it's short or too long, then they're going to get zero points. Now the objective of the, the task is to get seven points to complete it. So what we find is if a student comes up to the first putt, maybe they don't underestimate the speed and they just hit it a little bit too hard, hit it outside the circle, then it makes them start to think, well now I've got to hold three, three more of these four putts. So the tension levels and anxiety level goes up and it just gives us the coach an, an opportunity to step in, help the student to reassess things and make sure they don't get outcome orientated but start focusing on the process. So for them to hold this putt, is it best that they think about they've missed the first putt? Of course not. The best thing is that they understand well, what are the processes I need to go through to give me the best opportunity to hold this putt. Okay, so try this drill. I said I see a lot of people out on the putting green just hitting putts. Uh, not really having any consequences if they miss. Let's make sure that when you're training on the putting green that you make it as much like a tournament situation or a golf course situation as you can where every putt counts. All right, so if you've got any questions, please send me an email at davidallium at bgga.com uh, and good luck.